wonderful God is great. God has done it for me and he will do it for you. So I am here to tell you that you should subscribe to Epa. I am a nurse practitioner in the making. Yes, currently I practice as a psychiatric nurse. I also practice sometimes as a telemetry message nurse in acute care setting to introduce you to Epa testimony and what Epa is about. Come with me because people have some questions. What's my motive for this? My motive is not anything negative, though it has negative backgrounds and that I need to make it known because there's a lot of people out there that are going through these situations and some is not as bad, some are bad. My situation was extremely bad, but I came out strong and on the winning side and I want to come here and give you the ins and outs and most importantly, the effects on children. Parental alienation is what we're focusing on on EPA. They bring you the awareness, bring you the education. So come with me. Let's go into it. Mm, 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 mm. Testimony 101. Testimony time. Guys, I have somebody told me that after watching my videos, they are inspired to be a better wife. How about that? Good news for my guys, right? Good news for my guys. They are inspired to be a better wife. You know what that meant to me? Great. I'm very inspired too. She said her husband is not as bad. But she has realized that she could be better than she has been to him. Her husband is a good father to their children. She had this daughter and she got married to the husband. Be you know, she had a daughter before the husband and she got married to the man and they have a son together. And the husband has been wonderful in helping the kids with homeworks in ensuring the kids are doing one great. One of his, uh, the, the son actually have delayed in some things and she actually invest, they invest a lot of money. She's able to do that to support also because at least the husband is helping to take the kids, the son, she pays like $20,000. That's a lot of money, right? But that is good investment. That's what EPA is about. Investing in your children. What you put in your children is what you're going to get out. What you put is like your body. What you put in your body is what you're going to get out. It's cumulative effect. If you want your child to have scholarships to college, right? It's not going to be overnight. You have to prepare the the, uh, the foundation very well you understand prepare the foundation that they will build on and that is why I've been fighting if you listen to my other videos I've been fighting for my kids especially the one that um, my ex-husband piloted to misdiagnose as autistic I had to fight 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 after many many years and he was cleared as being autistic and that is the thing. Once somebody is autistic, you can never say at some point that they are all of a sudden no more autistic. You understand? But because he claimed um, I have mental illness and he couldn't prove it and don't have access to me to control, manipulate anymore, what he has access to is the children. So he has to destroy his own children instead of investing into them to build them. You understand? That's the difference with some of us. You have excuse me some families in the western world they can even have a child with no arms no legs no eye blind kids but they can become entrepreneurs they can become what they can become uh, um, artists they can become musicians they can become anything uh, or artists they can become anything they want to become i have one of my sons who writes books a lot and reads a lot and draws a lot and the father will basically trash it your fellows are building computers and you are here doing this stupid drawing 
you stupid, you dumb. You don't call a child dumb. You don't describe a child dumb. You don't tell, you know, you are affecting their confidence, their self-esteem, their perception about themselves. You are destroying them psychologically. And that is what EPA is about, trying to help us change behaviors that negatively affect children. So you see this lady, she acknowledged by seeing my videos that, oh, my husband does way better than this, but I haven't been the best wife. I alienate him even when it's time for intimacy. I alienate him when he wants to engage with me. I am changing my ways. You have inspired me. Can you always text me with your videos? I say subscribe and turn on the notification button. And every time I load a new video, you'll be one of the first people to see it and get inspired. With her permission, I'm bringing this to you as Epa Testimony 101. Epa Testimony 101. So my guys out there that are good husbands, good fathers, and don't feel like you are being appreciated share my videos show it to your spouses show it to your wives get them to be inspired that they could be anybody could be me anybody could have been in the worst situations i was in anybody could have been on the unhealthy environment that i was in but by god's grace today i'm here I've overcome, I have been fought, I have become Mamle Yuko. God wins. Always on the winning side, always on the winning side, guys. So together, we're going to win together. And that is what EPA is about. So this is EPA Testimony 101. So somebody asks, what is EPA even about? What is the motive at all? A little bit about what the motives of EPA is all about, guys um going to tell you those that have questions about why epa what is my motive for doing this um so epa as we all know its focus is on parental alienation parental alienation um whereby one parent turns a child against another parent epa is going to is focusing on the detrimental effects of that action um, pretty much uh, researchers psychological child psychologists are describing that act as a crime against a child as an abuse against a child as an emotional form of abuse also psychological abuse emotional abuse and many forms of abuse that eventually leads also to physical abuse as it occurred in my kid's situation and um, because the child has to comply to the alienated rules and um, tactics and if it gets to a point where the child is growing up having to put one or two together and realize something is not right and they rebel or object to the tactics then it turns into abuse for them too um epa is trying to focus on helping you understand that these behaviors these actions are human behaviors and if it's a human that can change these behaviors and as much as um some actions against me my children that was not right it i want you to see the positive side of it because regardless of all the abuse, regardless of all the distraction, all the attacks I have endured, I came out strong and that is what I want you to focus on. I am not here to educate any woman that you should leave your marriage. That's far from what I'm trying to bring an awareness on. I'm not here to tell you that you should leave your wife no what i'm here to do is to make sure that 
whether you are together, whether you are divorced, whether you are separated. I have know we have a lot of absentee parents out there who just took off and don't want to be part of in their kids' lives. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the parents that want to be parents, but somebody, one of the parents is preventing them. I'm talking about families that are being prevented from getting involved with a child. I'm talking about situations where a child wants to have a relationship with their father, their mother, their extended family, but one parent or somebody in the family is preventing the child from having that natural bond, natural relationship. Don't be that person that alters that relationship. And that is what EPA is about. Bringing, trying to raise awareness on behaviors that um, contribute to um, a child enduring psychological harm, enduring living life in confusion, living life in distress, living life with uncertainty. What I want to talk about on this channel is how we can all agree to disagree and make a child's life better. Whilst a man would think, some man out there would think that, oh, I'm talking about my ex-husband or I'm this or that. My ex-husband is not a focus. I have revolved, I have become, I have attained, I have accomplished, I am more than a man in being in my life. I'm more. Having a man is good, but it's not an accomplishment for in most. What, what about me? You understand? What is my being? What, what, ha, what is the purpose of me being mumbly? You understand? What is the focus of me sharing my value? with somebody and impacting a man or no man shouldn't be the focus so any woman out there that's enduring problems in their marriage abuse is not what i want you to accept tolerate and endure any man that is going through horrible stuff in their marriage abuse from a woman is not what I want to encourage you to endure. I want you to know that you are more. I want you to know that you are bigger than abuse and you do not have to accept abuse. You do not have to endure abuse. You do not have to sit down and, and, and go through that pain. Talk to your partner. Get somebody involved that will get the problems resolved. If not, you don't have to be like me that have to sit down and lose it all, lose my self-worth, lose who I am before you decide that it's time to get moving. You don't have to be harmed. I empower women, I will talk take this opportunity to tell any woman that is in a relationship a marriage and is being abused to find your strength find your ability that will get you to be independent before you if you are a young girl out there listening to me marriage is not everything marriage is great finding love is nice is perfect is great is wonderful but it is not everything in life Loving yourself, developing yourself with, building you, investing in you is priority. Having yourself with, being happy independently is very important. When you are happy independently and your joy don't depend on somebody, on a man or on a woman, it means you are healthy. You are psychologically sound. You understand? So that's what I want to talk about brief today. And I want to tell you that EPA is 
for everybody, for men, for women, for children, focusing on what we can do to help our children the best. EPA is bringing more awareness on education, mental health education, things we can do to avoid psychological harm, things we can do to remain healthy mentally, and how we can live a life in a decent way that can not negatively affect other people. That is what EPA is about. That is what EPA is about. So if you are here watching me today, follow me, subscribe to EPA, and let's build this knowledge base together. Let's learn together. Let's develop together. Let's change the world together. Let's improve a child's life together. Thank you so much for being here. Kindly subscribe, kindly share, and let's inspire somebody. Thank you.